This episode is partially sponsored by TotallyVegetarian.org, promoting a sustainable, compassionate, and healthy choice. Visit them at TotallyVegetarian.org. Oftentimes when we think of vegetable pastas, we're thinking of macaroni and pasta products that are infused with vegetables like spinach or carrot or beet. But what I'm doing today is a zucchini pasta where I'm going to use zucchini in place of the pasta. It's super simple and I'm going to top it with some wonderful end of the season basil and tomatoes. I'm going to do a pesto sauce that's absolutely fantastic. For this recipe, you're going to need about one medium-sized zucchini, so I don't mean the big end of summer giant baseball bat size, but a medium-sized zucchini, which will be about 10 inches long per person. I'm just using a simple vegetable peeler. I think it's a lot easier than a mandolin, and it's pretty likely you're going to have one of these in your drawer. Now, you can cut larger ribbons or smaller, so it depends on the width of the pasta that you'd like. So all I do is start peeling down the zucchini. And I try to get a little bit of skin, if I can, in most of the peels, and then just the white part of the center so it actually looks like a fettuccine. I'm going to stop when I start seeing the seeds. Okay, at that point, we don't want to start shaving the seeds into it. They're just watery, doesn't have a really pleasant raw texture. But I will save these zucchini and use the centers in, in a soup or some other type of cooked sauce. Now, some people will drop this in boiling water. They just feel that it needs to be cooked. I don't. I think this is a perfect al dente texture. I'm going to set that aside, and then I'm going to start my pesto sauce. So this is a little saucier than your typical concentrated pesto that you're probably accustomed to having. And I'm making mine with a good shot of garlic because the zucchini has a very neutral flavor and is absolutely delicious with a nice robust garlic flavor. So I've got two cups of fresh basil I'm going to put into a food processor. I've got three cloves of fresh garlic. You can use two or one, but I'm using three. And you don't need to chop that up really fine because we're going to process it. Drop that into the processor a third of a cup of pine nuts. Now, I'm using the pine nuts because that's a very traditional nut to use in pesto sauces. A third of a cup. I don't always have them on hand. For this recipe, please feel free to use the less expensive and just as healthy and nutritious walnuts or almonds. And then I've got in a bowl another one of those nice juicy end of season tomatoes. So it's a medium tomato which I've squeezed some of the water out of in some of the seeds, but as you can see, don't go nuts with it, just get some of them out. And just coarsely chop that. That goes in. So what I'm gonna do is pulse this down. Okay, very loud, the cicada. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pulse this down. So I'll just do that a few times. And I'm going to need to scrape down the sides of the processor bowl. Pulse again. And now I'm going to begin adding one quarter of a cup of cold pressed olive oil. And just add that slowly while you're pulsing. All right. Now check the texture. And again, just to, you know, just to remind you, this isn't going to be like one of those thick pestos. This is a sauce, okay? So this is like a basil garlic tomato sauce. So it's going to be thinner. That's exactly what you want. So this is a really nice texture. Now I'm going to season with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then two more pulses just to combine that. And then my sauce and my zucchini pasta are ready to dress and enjoy. You're going to be really pleasantly surprised at the ease and flexibility of this zucchini pasta. And topped with this sauce, it's absolutely wonderful. Another terrific sauce for this is my raw tomato and almond sauce. That's also wonderful. But I'm in a really basil-y mood today. Plus, this is a great way to use up all that basil that you have in your garden at the end of the season. So remember, keep it light and simple, and as always, absolutely delicious. Eat your veggies. See you next time. Mm. You know you can't get enough of delicious TV. How about helping support future programming by picking up our iPhone apps, 
or some e-cookbooks available through our website, delicioustv.com.